SD. Let's get to the game. See what's going on here. Hello, WD fan. Welcome on in, my friend. How are you? Patients in very poor condition. I'm glad you brought him to us. Do you know what's wrong with him? I'll take care of this. Please just give me some time. Mia, Finley, please look after the board. There's a lot to do as ever, and this isn't helping. Sure, we'll take care of it. I want to help too. Good. Ask around the other ward, see if anyone else can help out. Consider it done. I am doing quite well, my friend. We are chilling, we are vibing. Updated. Don't you need any help here? Oh my god! You just subscribed to me! How how dare you? I can't believe you just subscribed, but thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you a lot. Anton has just subscribed, everybody. He's here all the time. And just now subscribed, but thank you. But hey, now, now we are one step closer to this sub goal that I don't have a goal for. But it's there. <laughs> it's there. It's a thing that exists. What I need most of all is time. The best way for you to help me is to take care of the ward on your own. Forgive me if I can't monitor your work as closely as usual. You and Mia have been here a while now. Prove to me that I can trust you with our ward. <laughs> I love you. I mean it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm passive aggressive in a nice way. In a cute way. That That's how it works here. Okay. Oh, I can't talk to you? Okay. I guess I can't talk to them. And look, you get a cute little Taco, Taco Bell sauce packet. Oh, everybody is... Oh, wait. This way. Hope. Let's hope we do this correctly. So this clip in my hair is hurting my head. Ow. Hello. How are you? What do you need? Greetings. The same to you. You're struggling with inflammation after an abdominal surgery, right? Let's take a look then. Oh god, not this one. Ah! 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 <laughs> I don't like that. I hate this. It's so hard. Because you gotta, like, have 50,000 hands. Ah! They don't... Oh my god, how? Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> That's so annoying. You're unintentionally passive aggressive. Yeah, but I'm cute, so it's fine. And I have to I have to mess with people. Aspen would never thank you, Kaden. Thank you very much. Thank you for sticking up for me. It's just me being sassy. That's just that's how I am. This is textbook inflammation, but I can see you've had all the important vaccines. We need to cool the wound properly. And you'll need antibiotics to treat the infection. Got it. For now, I'll just keep as still as possible. Good idea, and get well soon. Okay, well, we got a B. What? Why do you say it like that? Wouldn't she, though? How, how dare you? You show up and subscribe, and then you do this. You have gastrointestinal ga uh, gastrointestinal infection. That's true. And you had a colonoscopy last night. Correct. There are probably better ways to spend your evenings, right? You're not wrong there. Alright, let me take a look. Okay, so we know... It's stomach things. 
Two teeth? Feet? That one? That one? Sure. Four of those are correct. Please tell where the babes at. We're not playing that today. I didn't know y'all wanted that. I like playing Star Rail, but it doesn't get me viewers sometimes, so I don't play it as often right now until we get more of a, a steady a steady flow. Okay, so let's do... Literally have four or five of these correct and they're still not in the right spot. Okay. I guess we'll flip it. You there. Eyeball here and that. Oh my god! Brother. Brother in Christ. Fall here. Okay, hold on. We need... Do the eyeball here. Not there. Down here? Okay. Thank freaking God. Jesus Christ. That's pretty correct. So, what it is, is it you'll mark them, and then if they give you blue checks, that means you, you have correct symbols, but they're not in the right spot. What to do with this new extra iPad? Kenny has a new extra iPad? <laughs> Kenny, sometimes I feel like you just say things to pique my interest on purpose. But I want an iPad to play Hell Kitty Island Adventure properly. <laughs> That's literally it. Okay, so the eyeball isn't one. So, foot? Teeth? Yes! Let's go! And I guess I still got an A. You are a tease, Kenny. Let's freaking go. I figured it out. No serious abnormalities were found during your colonoscopy. Your symptoms indicate a flu-like infection. That's good, because it is treatable and shouldn't trouble you for too long. But we need to get your electrolytes and water levels back up. And you need to make sure you drink plenty of fluids, preferably tea. Okay. Oh. If I show off my really bad carpal tunnel and my, my um, brace on my wrist, will that make y'all feel bad? And it'll make you subscribe and or buy me an ipad you can't offer ipads only friendship that's okay i accept the old lady owl is still here something something's not right here is it honestly i'm not sure it sure feels that way the protest still going on downstairs it's gotten bigger even yes i noticed and we've had someone collapse on us, too. One of the staff? No, a protester just keeled over out of nowhere. Dr. Krakowski's diagnosing him now, but we don't know what's wrong with him yet. I've worked in the healthcare sector for decades. 
There have always been scandals, arguments, and criticism. Some time ago, a large number of hospitals came to a decision that ended up having huge ramifications. Healthcare was improving, people were healing and recovering faster. In a very short time, the average length of a patient's hospital visit was half. Accordingly, the hospitals decided to half their numbers of nursing staff. But the workload remained the same. So then came the overhauls, the saving strategies, that kind of thing. We're still seeing the effects of that decision today. We also see the shortcomings here at St. Ursula's, too. Thanks. What I'm trying to say is... I know what you're going through. I'd like to take a look at your readings, if that's okay. Of course. Do I have a Discord? I do not have a Discord. Ow! <laughs> um, I don't have a Discord. Um, I haven't, I haven't really thought about that yet, honestly, because we are still somewhat new and growing in this, so I don't know if a Discord is completely necessary yet. Um, especially when I am, like, active on all my other social media. It's not, like, a definite no or anything, I just think it's a not right now kind of thing. Plus, I've never had to, like, mod a Discord before, so I don't, that's a lot. So when gets me the iPad, would they be the number one tip? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. I did have somebody buy me a pair of shoes the other day. So that's why I put out the feelers about the iPad. <laughs> I was like, hey, y'all bought me these like $100 shoes that I wanted. So let's see what happens. But yes, that would probably make them number one. Great. Now I got to freaking diagnose again. I don't want this. I don't even know what she's going through still. Jesus freaking Christ. God. Uh, well. Look. Dang, I did it again! Four of them. Okay, so. I mean X. No! Not X. As Kid Bandit said either earlier or yesterday, um, if Elon wants to dead name his own child, then we're dead naming Twitter. And it is Twitter and it is nothing else. If he wants to be that kind of terrible person, then we are going to dead name his stupid app. It is Twitter. And especially, and I noticed this the other day, uh, I, if you go on, like, if you're, like, on desktop or whatever and you're not on, like, the app, the X thing pops up in the corner, but it still says Twitter.com. Because I don't think x.com i'm sure that's like already taken or something along those lines so someone did buy me a chair yes kenny you are correct and i i i know who that someone is um it's very fair but you generally just ask if buying me an ipad would make them the number one and yes it would so i was simply answering your question my friend Okay, now I gotta figure out how to rearrange these. Okay, let's do it backwards. Darn it. Okay. Two are correct. I had two X's to the website gets used. Oh no! No thanks. Need to change so that one's not a skull. Do blood here? Skull here. No.
tooth. It's the tooth again! <laughs> Not all y'all just making up words. I'm afraid to tell you this. What is it? Is it all over for me? No, quite the opposite. Uh, your readings have improved significantly. I wasn't expecting that, I must admit. But that's all part of the profession, too. Funny how things turn out sometimes. You should rest a little more. I think you'll be able to go back home soon. Your wish is my command. Oh, and one more thing. If I can help in any way, just say. I'd be glad to. It's really nice of you, but you're a patient here. The only thing you need to work on is getting healthy again. You insist. Yes, we do insist. But hey, like I said, we've got... We've got a little, uh... Sub-goal thing counting. So, hey. Well, that'll, that'll go towards the purchase of an iPad. <laughs> So there's that, so everybody can contribute. I could, I had thought about it and then didn't think about it. And then now that I'm talking about it, I am thinking about it again. I could make a throne wish list because with those, you can make like crowdfunding on them technically. So I could put the iPad on there and then anybody can contribute to it and not have to pay for the whole thing. Um... A fan had me, like, apply to get a throne when they first became a thing, like, a year or two ago. And at first I didn't get approved. And I don't know if I'm approved now, but I still get emails about it. But I never use it just because Amazon and Wish Tender has been really good. Because Amazon, I can put actual things on there. And then Wish Tender works for basically anybody else that doesn't want to buy on Amazon or whatever. Because also on Wish Tender, you can... There's a surprise gift section, and you can just basically send however much you want. So that's nice. So I really don't feel like I need to have, oh, um, an Amazon and a wish tender. If I, if I watch, I plan on watching Twisted Metal. Honestly, I haven't thought about it. Like, I know it's a thing. Um, I know I owned the game on PlayStation, but I don't think I ever played it. I think I just had it because, like, I want to say my dad or something probably bought it. I finished my assignments. Music to my ears. Can I take a look? While we're looking after the ward on our own, we should compare results to keep each other on track. Good plan. Let's go! I still got an A. It's not a, it's not S. It's not S tier, but I'll take it. I don't think I can perform as well as you under stress. What do you mean? You won a whole freaking co cooking competition, Mia. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. All our beds are occupied. I can't keep up. We'll manage it. I need to head up to the fourth floor for a few minutes. They're having trouble there, too. Everyone's pitching in where they can right now. Can you take on a few more people? Uh, sure. I'll hold the fort. Thanks. I'll be right back. More people! Oh, my lord. No, I, I know what I know what you said. I'm just saying that I I don't plan on watching it because it was never a thing that I really played when I was younger. I don't really have an interest in it. That's why I mentioned it. I completely understood that you said watch. I said that I didn't have any plans on watching because I never played it when I was little. All I know is that I owned the game, but I, I never played it. Or if I did, it was for like five minutes. But yeah, but because I have no interest, I had no interest playing it when I was younger, I have no interest in watching it. Good evening, I'd like to start your treatment. Can you tell me how you're feeling today? I've had an awful stomach cramps ever since last night. And, oh, okay, we gotta inject him with stuff. I feel like I'm gonna die A mood. Eh, it could've been better. He's giving me a good score. Let's go! <laughs> hey, 
injection done. I hope it kicks in soon. I've never felt this bad in my life. We'll give you a full checkup as soon as we can. In the meantime, try and get some sleep. Please hurry. There's something really wrong with me. I know it. I don't think you having cramps probably means that you're dying. I could be a four-shoot doctor. I'm so good. I'm a professional. Good evening. Can you tell me how you're feeling today? This morning it felt like the flu. Now everything hurts and every breath I take. How's your digestion? Everything went right through me this afternoon. The painkillers didn't help either, but only a little. I'm gonna take your pulse and then we'll see what we can do for you. Oh, look at me go! That was a perfect score! That was perfect! I'm a four-shoot doctor, y'all. Your body's fighting something. We're gonna figure out what it is as quick as we can. Thank you. I hope it isn't contagious, or is it always so busy here? Don't worry about that. My colleague will be back to check on you soon. Oh, not the pill one! No! This one's also difficult. Good evening. Can you tell me how you're feeling today? Struggling for air. Everything hurts. Help me, please. Of course, we'll adjust your medication. Thank you. Okay. Four pills. One of those. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yo. Okay. I just need the red and green down. Correct. Two, three, four. If you win the Mega Millions, you'll give me the iPad. Let's go! <laughs> Guys, I swear, I'm a professional. Who who needs who needs 10,000 years of, of medical school? Okay, my colleague will be here in a minute to give you your new medication. Thank you. I don't want to die. It becomes less of a line to cross if it comes out of $400 million. That is very fair. We'll do everything we can to make sure you get well soon. I promise you that. Well, that was quick and easy. Look at me go. Who needs medical school? Who needs it? Okay. He is. You can homeschool being a doc? Yeah, right. I'm sorry. Fourth floor is even fuller than here. All the beds are occupied. There was some talk about whether we could fit more beds in somewhere, and then there was an incident. An elderly lady collapsed, and I had to lend a hand for a while. And I didn't know the place well, so... All right, take a deep breath. How'd it go here? I'm done with everything so far. Can I take a look? Yeah, take a look at my perfect score! Yeah! <laughs> You know, all you need to be a doctor is just go to beauty school and learn how to do some skincare and some hair hair trimming. 
then you're fine. And maybe a little wrestling training so you can figure out how injuries work. I don't know. Everyone seems to be doing better. It's nice to know I can trust you with my tasks in case of an emergency. I'll try to return the favor soon. Thanks for taking over. How do you feel? No problem, I'm not flagging. No problem. Really tough. With all this running, I might as well quit the gym. I could really use some coffee right now. Let's do that then. Not this time of day. I'm dead tired, Ashley. Have you heard from Carl yet? No, now that you mention it. I haven't spoken to him. Can we give him a call? Maybe he has some news for us. Good idea. Oh, Carl! Nothing. He's not picking up. Strange. I hope everything is all right. Finley! Mia! Come quickly, please! The patient in room 302 is really sick. We can't stabilize him. Not the scary music again. Self-teach. Yeah, right? Finley, Mia, quickly. Help me stabilize the patient. The cramps keep getting worse. The patient is unresponsive. We need to... Did he just fly along? What? Dr. Krasky, uh, be quiet. Sandra, take the deceased details. That's it? The, the what? Excuse me? The patient suffered from severe and irregular abdominal cramps. We noticed heavy gastrointestinal bleeding. Dr. Loon would advise against surgical treatment. The blood work needs to be evaluated immediately. We know the bleeding was caused by a bacterial infection. Everything else will become clear soon. Please leave now. Is there anything we can do? Yes, there is. Please give me a little space and get some rest. But don't you need a break? Not right now. This is an extreme case. I will consult Dr. Gauthier and wait for the results from Dr. Haleo. I need you fresh and well rested in the morning. If this patient fell sick without a warning, others could too. Even if there's no indication of a direct risk of infection, please be prepared. We'll know more tomorrow. Are we about to turn into zombies? Is everybody gonna die? Hello? I guess I... Okay. Guess I can't do that. Got it. Whee! Can I go exploring? Ah, oh, it won't let me! Whee! Go to bed quickly or go... Do we go to bed quickly or go to bed? We'll just regular go to bed. Also, I will have y'all know, um, I am probably, if I had to guess, probably like 80% through Trails into Reverie. And I am getting sad that I'm going to be getting to the end soon. And then I'm going to have to probably wait three more years for the next game to come out. <laughs> and it makes me depressed. I have waited so long. And I'm going to be done soon. What a night. Whatever. Time to get to the hospital. My ears are still ringing from all that noise yesterday. But now everything seems quiet again. Weird. a zombie? Is everybody dead? Nobody here. It's like a ghost town. Everybody's dead! Zombies! See our friend down here by the, the, the sewer river or whatever. A g g ghost Yep. I don't think it's ghosts, though. I think it's zombies. I think we're all about to die and turn into zombies. <gasps> Hold on, where's Froak? 
There's a bunch of twigs here with a note tied to them. Hey, Finley. The caravan wasn't big enough for me and my sister. We've moved into a bigger apartment in Foxtail Valley far away. I've taught you everything I know, and learned a lot from you in return, Rivermaster Finley. We'll miss you and the river. Farewell, Frunk. P.S. I hope you have friends to stick with when the current gets too strong. Oh, I got a trophy for that. So even if everybody's a zombie, at least I got a trophy. Like, that's the important part, right? This is like the music from the opening title screen. So here, why is anyone coming to pick you up? Usher? Because he can. He's a pigeon. He can do whatever he wants. Wait for the bus. We'll walk. Yeah, we're walking. Because if it's a ghost town, I have a feeling the bus is not showing up. person everyone's got a tummy ache i had tummy ache once i ate a lot of cherries as many as i could but then i got a tummy ache i don't have a tummy ache today do you have a tummy ache too no fortunately not yay why don't you let the cherries with me then there aren't any cherries around right now we only get them in the summer that's not true there's always cherries at the grocery store they even sell them in bowls did, did we all get poisoned at the cooking competition? I'm telling you, we're all gonna turn into zombies. Everybody's got a bacterial infection. And then they just keel over and die. Poor Deary. Unusually quiet today, isn't it? Makes an old body feel a little lost. You okay? Yes. Just a little tired. Go home and lie down. But it's so nice and peaceful today. I'm going to enjoy the crisp, fresh air a little longer. Well, all right then. But if you start feeling worse, get some rest, okay? I will. Sounds all sketchy, y'all. Silly little guy. I'm just a silly little doctor. Hey, here. Don't worry, friend. I heard what's happened at St. Ursula's. Everyone has. Need anything? Just say the word. See, buddy pal, you say that, and then you made me leave the wake for your mother because a dude wanted to fight me and started blaming me for everything, and you just let it happen. You know, always the best at looking out for myself, but I'll make sure I don't leave Gilbert's today. I ain't expecting many customers, but sometimes it's nice to have the place to myself, you know? Hang in there, Juliana. Hang in there, Finley. Don't think I forgot, friend. Friend. He let me get bullied out of the wake for his mother when I'm the one who let her have the best possible last days, weeks, whatever of life. And I took care of her. You can let me get bullied me to leave i don't forget that <gasps> do you think i think it's from the fountain because they say they they said that they only turned the fountain on at the the festival thing that happened and now like they that's the only time they turn it on they're like oh yeah it gets the stuff going for like the 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 warm water flowing through it or whatever and I beg you, that water was infected because it sat there forever and ever and ever. And now everybody's sick. And now we're all going to turn into zombies. Here you stand, same as every day. Your water's been turned off again. Probably for the best. It did smell kind of stagnant. See? 
wonder if you're aware of what's been going on around here. He caused it! I'm telling you right now! All the people that drank from that fountain got sick. I'm telling you right now. That's what it is. The coffee truck's gone. Did it skip town? Gracious. Get get up the path. Thank you. I want to see if there's anything we need to. No. Okay. Bird. Okay. Be an angry mob out here still. I hope not. Oh my. You know, it's supposed to use the back entrance, really. A bed? There's just, there's just a random. Okay. We're gonna walk in and everybody's gonna be zombies. Oh, now they're all inside complaining and yelling? Oh god. My belly feels like it's on fire. I think I'm gonna faint. Finley, I really can't talk right now. We're getting overwhelmed. The wards are almost full. We've got more and more people coming in with the same symptoms. I'm trying to organize more beds. Make yourself useful and get to your ward. Remember? Remember how just two days ago they were like, you all should close down forever. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, get back here. Get back here. I'm trying to talk to you. Hey! Gosh darn it. Is that a capybara? Where? That? That's a badger. That's a hippo. I think those are bears and cats and a frog. Not the eerie music again. And a hard hat. Yeah, that was a beaver. I think he was a little beaver. Why is everything cleaned out? But I think he's a beaver because he's a construction worker, so it would make sense because they build things, right? Oh, hello, random person. It's crowded here. How was the night shift? Don't ask. Don't ask. I'm pretty sure my bloodstream is like 80% coffee right now. Don't you want to take a break? Nope. Nope. Break later. Things to do. I want us all to head to the break room. Dr. Krakowski's got something to tell us. Works for me. I was just going to get myself another coffee anyway. Okay. Follow you. Small announcement to make. You look tired, Dr. Krakowski. Did you even go home last night? Know more about what we're dealing with now, but we still need some time. The bacteria is aggressive. We've been able to contain it to a certain extent, but some patients are still experiencing internal bleeding. But that's not what I called you here for. As you may have noticed, our wards are full. What's more, a few of our staff have also started falling ill. If more people are admitted as the day goes on, we will hit full capacity. And what does that mean? It means that if we run out of space, we're going to have to turn people away. But, yes, I know. This is news for me, too. But we have no choice. People are already being relocated to other hospitals in the local area. 
but the nearest hospital is over an hour drive away. We can no longer treat them here. I would ask you to take note of this information. We can't just send people back onto the streets. You know, some of these people might be seriously ill. We... We all blinked at the same time. Wait a minute, Dr. Krakowski! Carl! What are you doing here, Carl? Don't you know you're not currently authorized to be here? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Any idiot that can see a hospital bursting at the seams. So it seems. How else are we able to explain your presence? You can't just sit by and watch people croak. And I won't let you down just because of my stupid forced vacation. Who's going to stop me? Dr. Theobald's vanished into thin air. If he wants me thrown out, he can come up here and try it with his bare hands. What's your plan? You think you can conjure up a second hospital with a wave of your magic wand? I don't need to. The word on the fifth floor. Dr. Krakowski, we can get it running again. There's plenty of space up there, and most of the beds are still in place. That ward has been out of operation for years. What, so you'd rather send all those sick people back home? Very well. I won't claim I'm happy about this, but since you're already here, get the fifth floor ward up and running as fast as you can. I'll help Carl. I can't say I'm surprised to hear you volunteer, Finley. I'll go to the lab and see Dr. Halil. I hope he has good news. Mia, Sandra, I leave this ward in your hands. Are you up to the responsibility? Yes. Ain't no thing. Good luck, everyone. Now get moving. Come on, Finley. Let's take a look at the ward upstairs. You mean the haunted ward where I mysteriously got knocked out and was bleeding all over the place? That totally sounds like a great plan. I like this eerie me eerie noises in the background. <laughs> he has to jump too to get up there. That's so funny. You really think we can do this? Sure we can. There's a lot of junk lying around. We got no electricity. But if we work together, we'll get the hang of it. It doesn't have to hold together for years, just long enough for us to ride out this wave. I'll deal with the bedrooms. You take care of the corridors. We're not trying to win a prize for best interior design, just clear enough space so we can get through. Understood. Okay, so what exactly am I doing? Oh, that, magic. Look at me go. Good as new. Why do we stop using this word in the first place? It has a lovely rustic charm. Maybe it had something to do with all the mold, the discarded machinery, that thick layer of dust that's covering everything. All right, all right, you made your point. But the dust only moved in here later, you know. Okay, we've got almost everything we need. We're just missing the power. I might be able to help with that. I once administered emergency treatment to the junction box in surgery. I'm afraid this ward doesn't have a junction box. When the others got refurbished, this one was just left to rot. I guess the breakers for this ward are down in the basement. That's where the main distributor is. I'll go downstairs and turn on the power. Good. I'll get started filling up the beds and rooms. There's plenty of people waiting downstairs, after all. Will I be wrestling soon? Um, I currently have stuff lined up for September. Um, Revolver is here next week, but I will just be there because the show I've mentioned, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned before, Revolver runs like 25 minutes from my house. So I will be there. Um, but I don't have like official. Hey, yes, I wrestle. Shut up. Um, <laughs> I don't have like official announcement for it or whatever but uh i have a weekend booked to wrestle in the pacific northwest in september so i am quite excited about that i have been wanting to wrestle up there for a hot minute now and that is all getting set in motion you'd travel to see me wrestle kenny you i mean to be fair i would also travel out of florida to see wrestling because florida doesn't really get anything good nowadays am i Hello? 
Is this not the basement? Oh. Pop. That's it. If I carry on like this, I'll be able to qualify as a professional electrician suit. See? I'm a professional doctor by playing this, and Finley is a professional electrician. Now I need to get back upstairs. Carl's on his own up there. Run! You've been sired on Florida roughly. How's it, everyone? Oh. Oh, there he is! Where have you been, bestie? Dr. Seabolt, what were you thinking? Have you any idea what's been going on around here? Yes, I know, of course. That's why I'm here. Just listen to me for a moment, please. I had to go. I couldn't stay here anymore. I take full responsibility. I always wanted the best for St. Ursula's, believe me. A few years ago, I was appointed chief physician, but not without help. Roman Heydrich already had a lot of influence over the hospital, even back then. He offered me the position of chief physician as a part of a restructuring. At the time, I thought it was the best way for me to actively help the hospital. I was still too young. I hadn't really earned the position. But I went along with it, and Roman supplanted my predecessor for me. We had big plans. Everything was great at first. But Roman put more and more pressure on me, and he had interests of his own. He didn't even try to hide them from me. He kept coming to me with strange ideas. He wanted to take more and more money out of the hospital. When I refused, he started blackmailing me. I had to sign bills, purchase orders, and other documents for him. Otherwise, he would blow the cover on our agreement. And as chief physician, I would have taken the fall for everything. That's why I went along with it, for the good of the hospital. However, as we drew more and more public attention, Roman got cold feet. He took off and advised me to do the same. Sooner or later, his scam would be uncovered. And, well, here we are. But I couldn't leave the hospital in such a time of need. I will take responsibility for what I have done. I am so sorry about everything. I never should have... Oh! <laughs> yeah! You know, I didn't like Krakowski at the beginning because she was quite mean. But you tell him! Hold yourself together! Look at yourself! I'm furious! I never thought you were capable of such a thing! If you really care about us and St. Ursula's, then get a move on and help the staff! Now! We don't have time for all this whining, but I- Oh my god! <laughs> he whacked him again! Caden is traveling also to see me, Russell. Caden's traveled twice to see me, Russell, now. This will include it. In a way, you're also traveling to see me, Russell? What are you traveling to see me, Russell? You have not confirmed this. Dr. Kukowski, what's going on here? Finley, what are you doing here? I thought you were on the fifth floor. No matter, the power has gone out. Maybe we overloaded the grid. The hospital's running on emergency power. I'll speak to Gregor. We'll get this under control as quickly as possible. And I'll make sure that all wards can continue working. Finley, please go to our ward. Check on Mia and the others. Well, what about Carl? Carl is extremely experienced. He'll be fine without you for a few minutes. I'll be there in a minute. Got it. Oh, you mean the show that we're booked on together that's traveling to see me wrestle? That doesn't count at all! <laughs> In a way, okay. And we don't even know what we're really doing yet. What if we're in the same match? You're traveling to see me wrestle, but you're wrestling me at the same time? Mia, the power's out. Yes, I can see that. Or rather, I can't see a great deal of anything right now. Are you all right here? Do you need a hand? We'll muddle through. Sanchez got the ward under control. Where's Dr. Krakowski? She's checking all the wards ha she's checking that all the wards have everything they need. Dr. Theobald's taking care of the power failure. Dr. Theobald? Did I hear that right? Yes, he's back. I just ran into him while he was explaining himself to Dr. Krakowski. He was What is that? Is that Is that on fire? Are we gonna die? The fifth floor, it's on fire! Then why is it coming off from the bottom? We just got the ward up and running. Everything was going great. Then there was this huge bang. Sparks flying everywhere. And all that old junk up there caught fire. We have to get out of here, quickly. 
Where's Carl? He's still upstairs. We're trying to get everyone out of there. Mia, I'm going upstairs. I have to check on Carl. Should I come with you? You stay here. Make sure the ward's evacuated properly. I... Okay, I can do this. Ren, could you help Could you help Mia, please? I sure thing. See you in a minute. There is so much going on! Someone named Michaela? What? Pay-per-view for the POV? What? Oh, for the point of view of... Of him wrestling me? <laughs> I just want to know how the smoke came up from the bottom if the fire is on the top floor. That don't make any sense. I did turn the breaker on. Don't blame me! Oh god, it's glowing. Carl, are you there? Over here, quick, we need help. Bed stuff. Help me move it. How? Okay, 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 I'm doing it. But, I know it came from under the door, but it, the, the, it said that the fifth floor is on fire. The fire started from turning the electric on up there. It's not coming from the breaker down. So that's why I was like, how, if we're on the third floor, why is the smoke coming in from the bottom if it's on top? That almost ended very badly. Thanks, Finley. What are we going to do now? We need to put out the fire. First, we have to get everyone out of here. There's a plan for things like this. We evacuate everyone to the school gym hall, and then we stay there until the fire's been put out. We contact other hospitals in the area and get people out to them as soon as possible. Until then, we keep going. So get everyone out. Get everyone out! We can't use the elevators, so we'll need to carry people downstairs. Benjamin and I can man the stairs. You go to the bottom of the stairs and take the beds as we pass them down. Jimmy and Archie will be waiting at the front entrance. Take the beds to the front of the building. What about the other wards? They'll all be doing the same thing. Do you think Dr. Krakowski and Mia will be okay? Yes, we'll help them in a minute. Thank goodness we haven't filled this ward up to capacity yet. Okay. Come on, there's no time to lose. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, hello? How are things looking up there? Benjamin and Carl evacuated the people in the beds. Great, us too. We still need people downstairs to help the transport. I'm on my way. Not the 3D glitchy effect. Mia, yeah, are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. This smoke's really bad, though. The fifth floor's on fire. We need to get people out of here fast. Sandra and I are ready to evacuate our ward now. We'll bring everyone downstairs. I'll help push them to the main entrance. Good. Take care, please, Finley. You too. See you soon. Oh my god. We've almost evacuated everyone, but they still need urgent help downstairs. We're not talking about how sucky this hospital is. Because people were blaming me for it, I just showed up here. I can't believe it. How could this happen? Because you left us, you dingbat. That's why. And you've been doing a bunch of shady things. Oh my god! Oh. Push! Oh, oh god. Oh god. Am I gonna die? I don't want to die. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it's glowing so much. Ah! I gotta run, I gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is sketchy. That's what they said. They said the fire started on the fifth floor. Get out of here. Okay. Run, 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 run. We got one more bed. Come on, Finley. Come on, bestie. <laughs> it was sort of similar to this. It was on fire and people were evacuating. <laughs>
Okay. Okay. Um. Now what? Okay. Now there's Mia. There, there's the Krakowski. Oh god, there's another bed over here? Why is he all the way over here? Billy's like... His coat's got like... Dirt. Smoke. Around it. On the sleeves. Kind of. I don't want to die. Don't let me die. Can I leave yet? Oh my god, I can't leave yet! <laughs> Finley, you're still here. You need to leave. Take the next transport to the gym. The rest of the staff are already on their way. I'm sure your services will be needed there. Don't you think I should do another check of the hospital? We might have missed some people. I've been to a lot of the wards. I'll do one last round of the ground floor and then I'll be right behind you. I'll come with you. You've done well, better than I ever could have done. I'll be all right. I'll hold my stethoscope tight. Go now, Finley. Thank you. Oh, God. We're all gonna die. Oh, we got it, Max! I didn't even know that was you! Hi! It's fine! It's totally fine! It's literally the meme of just sitting in the fire. We're fine. It's great. Hello? Can I move? No. Am I okay? Not Creed starts playing. Am I okay? Am I... Well, you got some big antlers, buddy. Come on, get in here. The others need you. Okay! Oh, Jesus Christ, I just went through a freaking burning building! Give me a second. Finley, there you are. We need all the help we can get right now. Come on, take care of the sick as best as you can. I'll assign the teams and I'll help out as well. What are you waiting for? Show me what you can do! I- <laughs> Oh, shit, God. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, no, not this one! Why now? Why this one right now? Eh. Okay. Eh. 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 Uh. <laughs> Hello? Why is this saying I'm not doing it? Ah! This is so hard! Hello? It's not doing anything! Bestie. It's not doing anything. Oh god, am I gonna be failing at everything? Don't do that to me. That's not fair. Oh, fudge. Okay, pass that one. Okay. Fucking lord. Now what? Hello? Oh, I hear beeping. Hello? Oh, no, not again. God. <laughs> no! I, no! This is so difficult. Oh my god. I don't like this. I hear the beeping. I hear it. Yes, I hear it.
Lord, your charts are all over the place. What? Ah! Other way. This is so stressful. Oh, fudge. Finley! No, he just died! No! She's beyond your help now, but can't you see the woman's already dying? But I can. You can help me. I need you up front urgently. Please come with me quickly. I was like, can, can I please move? Thank you very much. Oh, I'm outside. Get through the night. Did I? I, I don't think I got through it very well. I don't look okay. What am I doing now? We're still covered in- we're all covered in smoke still! What the fudge? Oh god! It's- it's- It's bad. I don't think the hospital's okay. What? Dedicated to the people who work in healthcare? Is that the end of the game? It's just that the hospital burns? <laughs> Excuse me? What? That's just how it ends? This is all the, the hospital caught fire? Goodbye! What? This... That was the opening tutorial. No, the opening tutorial, the hospital wasn't broken. was broken, not the hospital. This music is very... I don't know. But it's not what I was expecting for the ending music either. They were just like, yeah, you're going to play this cute little game. And you're going to figure out what's going on. I thought we were going to figure out what's going on. Not that the hospital was going to burn to a crisp and that was going to be the end of it. Summer's gone by. Drink of a oh, now we... Oh, this song has lyrics? It's a fine line between good times and memory. Just one breath away oh. from me. Hydric got arrested! You stupid badger! I'm glad we took your freaking money war or whatever it was that you had. I'm glad we took it. I'm glad be Mia beat you. Oh, she gave us a new plan!
you thought could never end. Oh god, not They're all re is this Are they doing stupid things again? Besties, there's no hospital for you to go to. You get sick again. He's visiting his mom. His mom's little grave thingy. I was not expecting to finish the game today, especially in an hour. Now what do we do? Will there be some- will there be like a, a post-credits thing for us to do, maybe, possibly? Well, I can't believe they're just gonna end the game like that. There's like, oh, everybody really got a bacterial infection and started keeling over and dying, and then the hospital is gonna burn to a crisp, and then it's over! Like, what? Excuse me? Is he a bald? He didn't make it! Oh. What just happened? And look, it wasn't- look, the hospital's together. What just happened, guys? Excuse me? Now what do we do? There's another game similar to this one? What is it? <laughs> 